Your eBay store is quickly growing and you don't know where to find the stuff once you've sold it. Today, we're going to talk about the eBay custom SKU label. SKU is a funny word. SKU. SKU. But what does SKU actually stand for? It stands for Stock Keeping Unit and is a unique identifier for each product that you sell. It helps with tracking inventory, sales, and it just simplifies order management. Creating a SKU system, you need to develop a logical and consistent format for your SKUs or SKUs, however you want to say it. Example, category, subcategory, product ID, size, color, date you bought it, how much you bought it for. Personally, I like to use the ABCD method or the one, two, three, meaning I just have boxes running up from A to Z. And once I get to the end of Z and I want to start some new boxes, I can just do A1, A2, A3 until I get to Z again. And then we just repeat the process over again. So once we get to Z26, it becomes A, A1, A, A2, A, A3, however you want to do it. That's just my personal preference. But you need to make sure that the SKUs are unique to prevent confusion. Assigning SKUs to products. When creating or editing a listing on eBay, you can find the custom label field, the SKU. This is normally in the item specifics area when you are listing on your mobile, but when listing from desktop or laptop, it's normally the third box down, title, subtitle, custom label. Remember, this field is visible to you and you only, your customers cannot see this. So whatever wacky stuff you put in there, don't worry about it. Only you can see that, as long as it makes sense. So whether you are just starting to use SKU labels because your stock is getting overwhelming or you're managing lots of your own previously already labeled items, you can use the SKUs in bulk listings. Use eBay's bulk listing tool like the file exchange or the seller hub to manage multiple listings at once. You can prepare a CSV file with columns for each product details, including SKUs, and upload it via the bulk listing tool. Personally, I don't like doing it this way. I just like to open up all of my listings, choose the ones that I want to change, edit each individual and then click bulk edit and then do it that way and run into the SKU column and just do it that way. I don't have a massive store. It doesn't really make much of a difference to me that way. But if you have a large, large, large store, I mean thousands of items, it's probably going to be better for you to upload the CSV file. Tracking inventory with your SKUs. You need to regularly update your inventory in your SKU system. You can use inventory management software compatible with eBay to automate this process if you have a large inventory. Search and manage listings by SKU. In eBay's seller hub, use the search bar to find specific listings by SKU. This helps in quickly locating and managing your products. I do this when I go through my boxes and find a low box and I want to fill it up. I see what's empty and I'll grab stuff from other ones that are overfilling and start evening the load out. You can analyze your sales by SKU. As a smaller business, it probably isn't very viable, but it is an option. You can generate the sales report in eBay's seller hub to analyze the performance by the SKU. You can use this data then to identify the best selling products and manage stock levels efficiently. Again, that really only applies to massive businesses. And this video is more aimed at you're just getting yourself started with the SKU system. But they're good things to know for when you grow your business because you are going to grow. Integrate with inventory management software. When you do get to that point where you want to grow and you are going to grow, this might not seem relevant now, but you can consider using a third party inventory management software that integrates with eBay. These tools can automate stock updates, track sales and manage SKUs across multiple sales channels. Just something for you to think about in the future. So best practices for managing SKUs. Consistency. Stick to a consistent SKU format to avoid errors and confusion. Simplicity. Keep your SKUs simple yet descriptive enough to provide meaningful information. You don't want to get lost here. Documentation. Maintain a detailed level of SKUs and their corresponding products for easy reference. Again, if you have a massive store, this is going to be beneficial. As it is with a smaller store, you're going to know where A to Z is, aren't you? But you can't just always think about now. It's always good to know about these options for the future for when they come. Because that's what you want, right? To grow. Regular audits. Periodically. Audit your inventory and SKUs to ensure accuracy and consistency. As we know, sometimes eBay likes to drop items off your store for any unknown godly reason. Sometimes you might have accepted an offer and then they've cancelled and it hasn't auto relisted. There are many reasons why you could have a box full of stuff screwed up that isn't actually on your store. Automation. Automate inventory updates and SKU management where possible. It just reduces manual work and errors. Although some may say the human brain is better than the robot. But...
This pretty much covers what we said before. By implementing an effective SKU management system, you can streamline your inventory management. I don't know how many times before I introduced an SKU system into my life, even though I thought I had it on top. And I was quite good to be fair. I could tell you where something was, no matter what. It made my life so much easier when I actually got the SKU system down to a T and implemented it. You'll improve order accuracy, as we said about getting lost, and you'll enhance the overall efficiency in your eBay operations. I really hope that helps some of you guys who have got mountains of stuff that are just living life on the edge, just not knowing where it is. Now you can get yourself a nice box, stick a label on it, and you know where it is. Having a dedicated box to go straight to to find your item once you've had the sale is a godsend. It saves seconds, minutes, and hours. So let me know in the comments down below, do you use an SKU system? Or were you just one of those wild, wild west people who just chuck it on the shelf and just expect to know where it is? Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below as well if you've got any more tips that you'd like to know about regarding eBay and eBay practices. And I'll try my best to put a video out there for you. Thank you and goodbye.